blonde bombshell belief. B3, as you all call it. Anyway, um, let's cover some questions, concerns, and comments. Let's start with Grandma. Grandma fell again last night. Uh, it happened while I was at work. And when Grandpa came and picked me up after work, he said, we're going straight home. Your Grandma fell. I don't really know all the details because he said he was sitting in the front room. He heard a thud, came to where she was at. She explained how she was laying on the floor with her head going one way and her legs going the other. But thankfully, there was no major damage like going to the ER again done. Uh, we did have one of those visiting nurses out, which I wasn't too fond of that one because she not only informed me of Grandma's chair needing replaced, but the throw rugs needing thrown out and some of the furniture's being rearranged and that they would take that up with us with physical therapy. Now, the way she acted, physical therapy would be here today. That was not the case. We had another visiting nurse, which I'm grateful for, and then we're going to have her again tomorrow, and then I guess on Monday, I don't, I'm hoping we don't see that other one again because I didn't like the way she talked and I didn't like the way she was like, okay, you know, you're doing this and this and this wrong. We're all doing our best to make sure that she's comfortable, she's accommodated, and that she's not going to fall again. It's very hard to do that at her age, let alone um, with with grandma. She, she Right now, she's so unsure of herself. Her confidence level is very low. And trying to get to work with her on that, it, it's another thing all in itself. And, you know, Dr. Michael surmises that there is colon cancer. He hasn't told her that. But uh, there is that there also, and I know that you're unbalanced with that, so I'm always worried about that. Um, what is the deal with me wearing teal again? Is, and I assure you, I, I work out in this shirt. It's my favorite shirt when I come on here right now. It's September is teal, uh, ovarian cancer, and PCOS Awareness Month. More importantly, PCOS Awareness, because to me, I don't think that gets enough awareness, and that's what I have. Um... That's why I did the Lemon Face Challenge. Um, I want more awareness brought to it because I don't think that it gets the attention it deserves. Um, let's see. More important news. Oh, I've been doing a lot of yard work this week. Uh, we don't have any more tomatoes. But a strange thing I noticed today. We did have an apple tree. It was loaded with apples. And all of a sudden it's bare. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying it's a little weird. Um, in other news, let's see. I had a migraine, an upset stomach all day yesterday. I felt a bitey uh, at times to certain people and friends, and I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be. It was just that I wasn't feeling well, and I had that foreboding feeling like something was going to happen. And my nieces were here last night. And they went to uh, Special Olympics today, and I'm uh, proud of them for going to that. Um, I just feel like a lot of stress and a lot of pressure is in the household right now. I was talking with this one gentleman, and then I told him, I said, I bet I won't hear from you again if I tell you my YouTube channel. And the one thing that I pride myself on is honesty. And... I have always been honest forthright with my feelings and I don't hide things. So if he felt that he just didn't want us to talk to me again after he watched some of my videos, that's his loss, not mine. Um, as for the situation with dating right now, it's all taking a back seat. My grandparents' well-being is coming forefront. What that means for me is I have more responsibilities. I'm doing more things than I normally do. And I'm getting used to th that. So, um, if there's ever a time that uh, I get a chance to date or take a guy seriously, I will let you know. But honestly, at this point, as much as I want it to happen, I'm not going to run after a guy and I'm not going to force him to date me. If he doesn't want to date me, fine. Um, and anything else in closing? We have... Uh, a doctor's appointment this week with Dr. Michael and a doctor's appointment this week with Dr. Green, I believe. Um, I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But if anything major happens, I will try to keep everyone in the loop. Um, it's a very hard time right now. Um, 
as you can imagine, not only seeing them get older, but and realizing how much function they once had, and it's now, you know, limited. I won't say totally lost, I just say limited, because once she starts having more physical therapy, I feel like some of this will come back. It just takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, and a lot of patience. So that's what I've got to do. Um, how is it adjusting in the house? Same as always, just grin and bear it. Um, for me right now, I take my worries and my anxieties out doing extra housework and doing things that either help out more or stuff that I would feel like I would be safer doing than anybody else. So I think that's a great thing. Um, keep us in your thoughts and your prayers. Grandma is home. She got home last Monday. Um, so for those of you I didn't update sooner, I'm sorry. Um, she is back at 901 South 15th Street here in Mattoon, so if you want to send her a shout out by snail mail, that would be greatly appreciated. She doesn't have email, Facebook, or anything like that. So, um, let's see. I told you about that one dude I was talking with. He's really the only one. Well, there's this other guy that he, he liked me on Meet Me, but I don't trust too easily. And he looks so much like Mr. CB. And as much as I want him to be Mr. CB, I know he's not. So I've just got to take time out right now again. Focus on everything that I have going. I'm also very active in the PCOS awareness. I would love to do the walk run, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to work next weekend. So I don't think I'm going to get in on that. So um, I apologize. Maybe next year, but I wasn't aware of it until just this week that there's a walk run at the end of the month. Um, next year, I want people to be involved and I definitely want to organize a PCOS walk run. I think that would be great. Anybody out there who wants to help, get in contact with me. I am not that hard to contact. So, in closing, I wish you all the best. I am praying for everyone out there to have a wonderful and happy middle of September. We're not on any holidays yet. Even though I've started decorating for Halloween. Have you started decorating for Halloween? Um, and I, I don't know yet. I'm kind of leading towards one of my costumes because the other costume I haven't had enough time or energy to buy. And I've went to so much energy for this one costume that I went the extra mile and made sure of the little things to make it's, it's kind of like build your own costume. So I'm really excited about it. And I hope that you all are too. And as always, I'll be here on YouTube. And you can guarantee I will be making a YouTube video in tribute to my character. And I'm not revealing my character. Um, I really want to do the second one. But I don't know if that's going to happen or not, too. You know, I usually do two. And then last year, I left it all up to you guys. And, or, or was it the year before last? The year before last. Last year was the square dancer. But the year before last, I did um, either the blonde bomb, sh uh, the legally blonde, or bad Sandy. You all chose bad Sandy. And I went as bad Sandy. So, uh... I love to keep you guys guessing in, on the edge of your seat. This is definitely going to do that. Um, I'm going to get ready to go watch some TV with Grandma before I work out. So I will see you on Instagram tonight.